everybody. Today on the show, we dedicated a full hour to servers in the food industry, and now it is time to celebrate you. So we asked y'all to send in um, just some of your most memorable moments, and also everything's falling apart, but it's fine. <laughs> but maybe like by the end of this, everything just falls apart in the back, behind the scenes. So one time I was waiting tables in San Antonio, Texas. And I went to introduce myself to my new four top. I said, hi, welcome to blah, blah, blah. My name is son of a bitch. I got stung by a hornet. <laughs> That's actually awesome. My name is son of a bitch. I was working the counter at Steak and Shake back in 1990. We had a guest come in and order a steak burger. Rare, like as in moo. His exact words. What? They said rare as in moo? Like they, like they just want it alive and bleeding and... Whoa. Gnarly. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. I like things cooked. I was working as a waitress in a pizza place and it was a blizzard out, there was a blizzard outside rather. Uh, some guy called in and asked if we gave out free pizza to streakers. I said no. About 20 minutes later I see a cab pull up and this guy comes running in the door with nothing on but his tennis shoes. <laughs> he runs around, the, I'm pretty sure this is legal, um, he runs around the restaurant then runs back out the door. I am standing at the waitress station in the middle of the dining room in shock. I did try to tip him, oh, trip him on the way out though. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, yeah. like are there children out? They don't want to see your junk, man. I once had a guest order a burger but wanted it completely deconstructed. That's right, bun, burger, toppings, including the condiments, all on one plate but not stacked on top of each other. The man's table probably collected a dozen small plates and ramekins before all was said and done, because of course he got fries too and needed all the dipping sauces for those. Don't we all have a friend like this when they order at restaurants and you're like, these people are gonna spit in my food. This server is definitely gonna spit in my food or drink because they hate our table because of this one person. <laughs> Okay, I was a server at an Applebee's and the city I worked in was in the Southwest. So in the summer, we would run our air conditioner on full blast. One day, a gentleman I was serving asked if I would turn the temperature up to make it less cold. I told him I would talk to management and see what we could do. Minutes later, I look over the table and this man had unfolded all the paper napkins at the table and had draped them on his upper body to create some sort of makeshift blanket to keep himself warm. A uh, dramatic. <laughs> he was sitting there looking stone-faced wearing these damn napkins. I thought, okay, you're cold, I get it. <laughs> like, what? Okay, I used to have a regular that would come in and order a BLT, except when I would bring it to the table, he would ask me to take the bacon off with my bare hands in front of him. Okay, this got weird and kinky. I don't know, it got a little weird. Then he would hand me a $20 for a $5 sandwich. Hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Oh my God. I, well, that is so weird. That guy wants to wear someone's skin, you know? He's got someone trapped in his basement. You want me to hand pick your bacon off your sandwich? Okay. Um, I was a cashier at a hospital cafeteria. A man tried to steal sausage patties by putting, ooh, sausage patties are better than links. Let's just agree. Okay, yeah. true, not exactly. A man tried to steal sausage patties by putting them in his coffee. Ugh. The kicker was the jelly containers he put in his coffee to try and hold them down. What kind of hospital were you working at? <laughs> One time I was carrying a large plastic gallon of French dressing. I was walking past the counter that had several men sitting, drinking coffee and talking. I didn't realize someone had just mopped the floor. I slid, dropped the jar on the floor. It landed on its bottom and the lid flew, oh, and the lid blew up. 
French dressing shot up in the air, in the air really high, but then it came down on me and all the men. Not one man was mad. They were all worried about me. Some jumped the counter to help me. We were all covered in French dressing. Of course, I was covered the most. The men came back many more times after that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, customer. Does the iced tea have caffeine in it? Me. Yes, it does. Customer. <laughs> Can you take it out? <laughs> oh my God, I wish me said, no, you dummy. <laughs> like decaf tea or caffeinated tea. That's not how you make decaf tea. Thank you all so much for sharing your stories. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone working in the food industry. You service, y'all deserve the best. It's a hard job. We see you, we appreciate you, and we thank you. Please stay safe out there, um, and I just hope you have a, a blessed day. And if not, maybe tomorrow will be better.